Hi guys, it's Mrs. Willis. We're going to do another science activity that you can find at www.putnamcityschools.org slash academics slash continuous learning. Today we will explore sounds made by everyday objects. Make a list of items that make loud sounds and a list of items that make quiet sounds, no sounds. All right, so I am going to take a little tour of my house. Um, we're gonna go on a sound scavenger hunt and find things that make a lot of noise and then also find things that make maybe a little bit of noise or no noise. All right, let's go. All right, so first we're gonna go into my son's bedroom. We have some of his books over here. I'd say the books make a little bit of noise, but not it's not too loud. So I would say books make either no noise or a little bit of noise. Looking around. Ooh, I found something that when you turn it on, it makes noise. This is his little music thing to help him go to sleep. So when we turn this on, it does make noise. We call this his music box, even though it's not a box at all. It's a circle, <laughs> isn't it? But we call it his music box. So music makes noise. Books make little noise. Let's keep going. All right, so pardon our messy house. Um, let's see what in here makes a lot of noise and a little noise. Well, my son definitely makes lots of noise, especially with his cars when yeah. they crash. So our toys make a big noise. Also, the TV makes a lot of noise. So yeah. Actually, also, if you turn it down, it makes a little noise and a lot of noise. So it can kind of be both. It just depends on what you set it to, huh? All right, going into our kitchen. Yeah. Here is our microwave. When you turn it on, it makes a loud noise as it's cooking. And then when it's done, I'm gonna just put it on, one second. When it's done, it makes that big loud noise so it can tell us that our food is ready. Same with the oven, when you turn on the oven and you put on the timer, I'm gonna set it just for one minute. And when that timer goes off, it makes a big noise to tell us our food is ready. So here it is going off, that big noise to tell us that the food is ready. Going into our bathroom. Whenever I turn on the water, I have it kind of. What do you think? Do you guys think that's a big noise or a little noise? Kind of a big noise. But it could also be a little noise. When I dry my hands, the towel makes a little bit of a noise, but you can't really hear it. So, yeah. All right, so we toured my house. I'm going to make a list of things that are loud. I'm gonna make a list that of things that are kind of quiet or no sound. I'm also gonna make a list of things in the middle that can be both loud or quiet because um, I think we found some things that could be both loud and quiet. All right, so here are my list. I have loud, quiet, and both, okay? So loud was that music box, because it wasn't really a box, <laughs> but that was loud. The timer on the microwave and the stove was loud, and probably for a good reason, to tell us that our food is ready and um, so you don't burn it. Let's go to quiet next, okay? So his books, um, they made a tiny bit of noise whenever you kind of um, turn the pages, but it wasn't that loud. And same with the towels. When you dried your hand, when I dried my t hands with the towel, it made a little noise, but it wasn't that loud. So both. My child, he can be quiet at times, um, but he he usually is loud. But he, I I put him in the uh, both column. Um, he can get very loud. <laughs> His toys, um, they sometimes are quiet. But when we are playing with them, and especially when we are crashing those cars, which he is doing right now. Uh, it can be very loud. We found out with the TV, when you turn that volume up, it gets loud, and when you turn that volume down, it gets quiet. 
Same with the water, kind of. When I turned it on more, it was loud, but when I turned it just a little bit on, it was quiet. Okay, guys, it's your turn. Um, Go take a little scavenger hunt around your house. See the things that are quiet and loud. Maybe make a list like I did, and if you'd like to share it with me, um, I'd love to see it. Just have your parents message me on Blooms. I love you guys, and I hope you have a fabulous day.